y'all it is hope at crafty hope and i am working in my bobsy twins book which is just an old bobsy twins book that i got from the library and i am using as an art journal so for this one i am just working on a single page not the whole spread and it's part of my 100 day project as many of these lately have been um and this was day 16 and I was supposed to be using paint through a stencil. Now I have tons of stencils. I keep collecting them because they're pretty and fun and all of that but I don't always use them and I don't always explore the different ways to use them. Now using paint through a stencil is not like some fancy new way to do it but it's not something I do a whole lot. Not I don't know not to make a design and that's kind of what I wanted to do with this one so I picked out some stencils you see them over there on the left um, but first I wanted to alter that background page a little so I'm using my old standby and just gluing down some various papers um, as usual this is hook papers um, old letters I think in a minute I'm gonna use some um, whatchamacallit pattern paper from like an old sewing pattern that gives a great um, color change on there which kind of gives it a little bit more of um, I don't know like an old feel to it and that's what I really like about that pattern paper it's always got that kind of brownie yellow color there we go that's it and you can still see through it which is kind of cool but it's so thin that you can kind of wrinkle it and give texture to things and um, it's kind of awesome so um, yeah so I threw that on there but um, because it's still just a piece of paper, it's still a little big, so I'm going to use a couple more layers of um, paper, other paper, book pages probably. Um, sorry, I'm um, recording this, I've got a little bit of a headache, so um, not my usual chipper self at the moment, so I apologize for that. So anyway, and as usual, I'm just using my Uhu glue stick to glue all these collage pieces down, and I've got like some kind of gift card or something there that I'm using to help smooth everything down. Now, I picked out a, a leaf stencil and then a flower stencil. Now, this leaf stencil, I cannot tell you who made it, where it came from. I have no idea. Um, it's very possibly maybe, uh, maybe it's illusions is what I'm thinking, but I could be very wrong about that. And then I'm putting down two different shades of green paint. Both of them, I believe, are Liquitex. Um, one is the, the darker one's the Liquitex Basics green, and then the other one's kind of a limey, fun green. Um, but I wanted my leaves to have just, I don't know, I didn't want it to be some boring color. I wanted um, a variation of colors on these. So, and I'm just putting kind of a random pattern down. Um, keeping them all connected because I knew I wanted this to look like the flower stencil that I'm going to use in a minute is sitting amongst those leaves. So that's kind of what I'm doing and I'm running just these from almost from the top to the bottom but in kind of a curve. And um, I wanted to try to make sure I got most of the leaves where it was the whole leaf and nothing got cut off. So. Um, and then from there, I've got a, I believe that's a Dino Wakely paint in, I don't know, Fuchsia maybe, I don't know. Y'all, I'm awful. <laughs> and I'm being lazy and I could, you know, take three steps over and try to find it, but I'm not gonna. So, um, but it's back when it, everything was in the tubes and not in the, the cute little bottles that all of our paints are in now. So, anyway. I um I'm using this little Tim Holtz stencil. This is one of the the, the smaller ones that look kind of like a tag, um, but it's got this beautiful I'm considering rose pattern on it, and I'm picking out some of these and specifically placing them. And I'm using just a cosmetic sponge to um to put my paint down. So and you see I'm kind of moving and turning that stencil so I can get just the flowers I want on there. I think that one's got some leaves on it, but I didn't want the leaves because I already had leaves. Um, and so I just wanted certain flowers on there. So I'm just kind of picking and choosing and making my own little bouquet. Like I said, I never do this with stencils. Most of my stenciling is just to add some texture to the background and not really intended usually as the focal for a um for a page. So this was a little something different for me. Now once I got those down and they were dry, I came back in with an ink tense um, color pencil. It's a water soluble, it's a water 
pencil. What do you call that? Watercolor pencil. I am not going to use it with watercolors. I'm actually just using it to outline all of these flower petals. That's again, also something I would not normally do. So I'm going through that. I'm going to cut this off so you don't have to watch me outline the whole time. But I promise you I outlined every single one of those petals. <laughs> um, and then I'm just taking a yellow Stabilo Woody to just go in the center of those. And that really helps them pop. And for once, again, I'm not going to get my paintbrush out and um, blend that. That's kind of crazy, yo. And then I've got the... Um, are those the chit chat stickers from Tim Holtz and I picked that one and I don't know what it says it says something about the little things which um, I think something like it's the little things that make life big maybe something like that and um, I outline that again with that ink tense pencil and I am gonna get um, my paintbrush I've got a little tiny one that I'm just gonna go around the outside of that phrase where I put down that um, that ink tense pencil and once I get that all the way around I decided I needed just a little something else so I'm going to in a minute here take a what is it called a sharpie paint pen it's water soluble no I'm sorry that's a Posca paint pen um <laughs> sorry I'm taking a Posca paint pen and um putting down some dots maybe I didn't use the Posca Oh, I decided the Posca wasn't working the way I wanted, so I did take the Sharpie paint pen, and I added some dots up in the corner, and then um, on the other side of the page, and then on a couple of the leaves, because the, once those dots were on there, they didn't make a whole lot of sense, so I thought it would make more sense if they were actually on the picture that was on there. And then that's it for this page, guys. It's super simple. Um, yeah, my big thing was to just use that stencil that way so i'm glad i did and i hope you try to use some of your supplies in different ways too all right guys give me a thumbs up if you like this make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching bye